Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J. Today the purpose of this video guys is to show you uh, the review of the HTC Galaxy N9002. As you guys know, this is the updated version of the N9000. And what I mean by updated version guys, this thing has uh, many great features uh, that the N9000 just doesn't have. Uh, first off guys, just going to the physical aspect of the phone. Um, it does have a 12.6 uh, 12 megapixel back camera with the LED flash. Now, if you notice already, around the camera, it has that white um, type of glass that the original actually has. And then on the N9000, is a little different. All right, that's one of the uh, differences that, that we would notice here from a glance. On the side here, we had the power button. On the top, you have what it seems to be an AR sensor, but this doesn't work. This is just there as a uh, luxury. Over here we had the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the side here, guys, uh, you can see this, but we had the volume rockers. And then at the bottom, guys, this is another thing that the N9000 doesn't have, is the connector. This one uses the same connector as Samsung. As a matter of fact, I have it here. And as you can see, it's a USB 3.0. And this came with the phone already. And there we go, guys. So this uses the updated connector, so it makes it look more like the original. All right, uh, this phone runs MTK6589T. Uh, here underneath we have the uh, stylus. All right, um, the stylus works quite well, guys, and I'm gonna show you that pretty soon. Uh, this phone also has one gig of RAM. It has um, 16 gig of internal memory, guys, so it does have a lot of memory. Uh, right here we see the 1.2 uh, megapixel front-facing camera. Here we see the motion sensor, proximity sensor, and whatnot, guys. Uh, the phone comes fully with logos all over the place. Here we see the Samsung logo at the front. Uh, if we open the back, here we're going to see the, um, the SIM tray, same as the original Galaxy Note 3. And guys, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you this picture uh, where I compare the original uh, with the fake one. Alright guys, so there you saw the picture and they look almost identical. Uh, as a matter of fact, the batteries do fit each other. However, the battery on the original um, Note 3 was going to stick out a little more. So it's going to be harder for you to put on the back cover. Okay, now the back cover do fit for each other. So you can have an original Note 3 and you can fit the same cover for this one. Alright guys, so here we see the, uh, the battery. Okay, and then underneath we also have the Samsung logo. Battery comes with logos on the both sides, and then here uh, we see that it says 3200 milliamp, and it does last a long time, but I think this is more like 3000 milliamp, guys. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, also, uh, here you see, guys, I'm using uh, Straight Talk. Straight Talk is based on, on T Mobile. I believe they use the bands of uh, 2100, so yes, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a 3G on this. All right, so let's go ahead and steal the phone, and let's now go, guys, into the software. And even though they claim to be uh, 1080p, I believe it's more like a 720p. However, it does look very sharp. As you can see here from viewing angles, it definitely has the IPS screen. Another thing, guys, I want to show you here, I have the case for the original uh, Note 3. And this phone has the exact same measurements because as we see here, uh, it fits perfectly well. Here we have the buttons. Everything fits where it should be. All right, guys, so yes, everything fits exactly where it should be. All right, let's take this out for now. And now, guys, uh, according to the software, this uh, phone runs Android 4.3, and I'm going to show you that just about now. So we're going to go to more. We're going to go about phone, and there we go, guys. So it runs Android 4.3, and uh, like I said before, it has 1 gig of RAM. It has 16 gigs of, uh, of ROM, which I'm going to show you now. This is the internal memory, so let's go back here and let's go to storage. And guys, here we see the available memory is 13.3, meaning that it has a 16 gig of internal memory. All right, guys, so next thing we're going to do here is um, check the Antutu test. Uh, I got a score of about 13, uh, I believe it was 13,000. Uh, 417 now the only reason I didn't get a higher uh, score I think guys because this phone has a very heavy skin which is, is taking a lot from the device but when we search here about device info over here we see on the top 
um, right here it says you know, it has the, all the information on the phone where on the brand they put a Samsung GT N9000 but this is the 9000 N2 it has 4.3 uh, for the Android CPU MTK 6589T and then here actually we see that it says instead of being 1080 it's actually a 720p screen guys and it does have a 12.6 megapixel uh, camera all right so I mean, uh, it is, you know, very nice phone. It's actually very fast. Uh, the GPS works the same as it did on the N9000. So both GPS and, um, you know, even the network, it works very nice. So right now, I left it on the 3G. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to do a speed test. But before I do so, I'm going to show you that I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. As you can see here, it's only on, on straight 3G. And also when we drop down, we see here guys that it has the home. So home means uh, straight talk for some reason. It doesn't say straight talk, it just says home. So let's go ahead and do a speed test. All right guys, so we, now we're gonna start the speed test. All right, right now it's having about two. It usually, uh, I think the best I got with this was almost five megabit download. Now, depending on the area where you're at, you can get up to 8 megabits of download speed, guys. So this is the upload speed. Almost done. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you that my previous results. Uh, here is, uh, I, as you can see, I got a 3.1. Uh, megabits of download speed and that was at a different area but yeah the average you're gonna get guys is usually between five and seven you're not gonna get any more than that um, here guys the great thing I like about the stylus now to talk a little bit more about it on uh, the stylus when you pull it out you're gonna see something cool it brings out the air command alright guys so I don't know if you can see this now the stylus even though it's better than the other one sometimes the touch is not as sensitive as the original because of course we know that this is a clone um, but you know for the most part guys um, you know you're gonna be you know mostly using your fingers because that's actually what I prefer but here I mean I don't know if you can see this guys I mean it does work you know somewhat but you know I still prefer to use my finger instead of the stylus I'm not a fan of it anyways uh, now it does work better than the previous one because the previous one didn't do anything at all guys so yeah this definitely has an improvement on the stylus alright so next thing I'm going to show you is the Wi-Fi connectivity on the phone so that way you see that the phone um, does take a great Wi-Fi right now my room is on the way in the back and I'm getting about two bars out of four sometimes I get three so the Wi-Fi does work quite decently guys so now uh, the next thing I'm gonna test here guys is the Bluetooth uh, so you guys know I have my little Bluetooth replica here uh, my little Beats pill so let's go ahead and turn it on and let's set it on Bluetooth mode there we go guys it's blinking so I'm gonna leave it backwards just so you see that it will connect to it soon uh, let's go to settings then from setting guys uh, we go to where it says connect then we're gonna go to Bluetooth and then there it is guys so we're gonna go to beats pill click on it and that's gonna pair with the beats it's currently pairing guys there we go connected alright so now next thing I'm gonna do guys is just open Pandora here and we're gonna go and test and see if in fact it is working and we're gonna play a song real quick let's go ahead and increase the volume here and let's increase it on the beats uh, pill to the max I don't know if you can hear that alright guys so there we have it alright so now we know that the Bluetooth works excellent uh, next thing I'm going to show you guys is the camera test uh, so that way you can see that this camera actually is pretty decent and hello YouTube here we had the camera test on the uh, HDC Galaxy N9002 this is the new version guys with the MTK 6589T and we're just testing the camera I don't know if you can see this guys but the focus is very good and it has quite a decent picture
All right, so there you saw the camera test. Um, it is quite decent, guys. Again, uh, for the price that you're getting this device, this is a replica, so you're not gonna get, I mean, the highest resolution, um, you know, that is on the market, but it's pretty decent in my eyes. All right, guys, so um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, a lot of the application, guys, such as the, uh, you know, standard apps, this is for the uh, dialer. And then here we had the message application. Here we have the browser. The browser does work pretty well, even on 3G. So let me go ahead and disconnect from the Wi-Fi. And let's test the browser on the 3G. So let's go to, um, let's say, YouTube.com. And as you see, guys, it's, it's, it's working pretty well. I mean, YouTube is a... It's an app that requires, you know, some data in order for it to open, so it does work pretty well, guys. All right? Well, guys, um, let's see what else I got here for you. I'm also going to wait the phone just so that you see the differences from the previous one. I believe the previous one was 174 grams, and this one is uh, 176 grams. All right? So it's not a very light phone. Uh, you're also going to measure the screen just to confirm that this is, in fact, a 5.7 inch screen. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and measure it. All right, guys, so I don't know if you can see that right there. The screen is 5.7 inch. All right, well, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, subscribe for more, guys. Uh, leave comments below and uh, have a good one.